Hi, my name is Malky Rosenfeld. I'm a traditional percussive dancer, and the styles I do are called clogging and step dance, uh, both of which are cousins of American tap dance. As a teaching artist, I introduce students to the elements of percussive dance, and then within the a sort of a structured framework, I give them the freedom to create their own percussive patterns. It's during this process that we end up using a lot of math and we end up talking about a lot of math. And the math itself both describes their patterns and informs their creative choices. They're creating their patterns using something I call movement variables. Mathematically speaking, these are simply pattern attributes, a uh, type of movement, foot position, and direction that can be combined in many different ways to create original patterns. As they create their patterns, they're instructed to dance exactly the same as their partners, to get their feet going in the same position in the same time, using the same directions and the same kind of movement. Later, student teams explore ways to combine their two four-beat patterns into a new eight-beat pattern and then transform their original work using different kinds of symmetry. This all may sound easy enough, but the amount of physical, cognitive, emotional, and social learning that occurs is immense. Also important is the research in embodied cognition, which has shown that children think and learn through their bodies. In this case, working creatively within the system of percussive dance provides children with an opportunity to represent their understanding of mathematical ideas in this new context. The process itself requires rigorous and precise physical reasoning, as well as the ability to build and analyze complex, multi-dimensional, moving patterns. This approach to combining dance and math is a blend and balance of specific exercises and mini lessons embedded in the meaningful context of a dance making activity and helps my students grow their skills in both disciplines. I would call this a contextually rich learning environment in which we use the following words to describe what the students are doing. Choreograph, decide, collaborate, experiment, tinker, revise, play, connect, apply, represent, analyze, and discover. Most of these words can be used to describe mathematical problem solving as well as a choreographic process. And that's how I teach math and dance at the same time.